In this video, we will be looking at the role of microvilli in absorption in the small intestine. Now, the human diet has three major components, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And for all three of them, microvilli play a very important role in their absorption. You will recall from the video on the anatomy of the small intestine that there are over 200 million of these microvilli per millimeter square surface. In other words, these microvilli offer a large surface area. As you can see in this image, they also appear as bristles of a toothbrush. In fact, the early anatomists called these collection of microvilli as brush border. Now, the microvilli on their surface have enzymes that play a role in digestion. For example, microvilli have disaccharidases that hydrolyze disaccharides to monosaccharides. And also they have peptidases that convert polypeptides into dipeptides and amino acids. There are also receptors present on the microvilli surfaces that help in absorption of specific substances in different parts of the small intestine. For example, in the ileum, the receptors absorb the intrinsic factor bound vitamin B12. And in the duodenum and jejunum, they help in absorption of iron and calcium. There is also presence of transport proteins on the surface of the microvilli that allow the passage of sodium ions, amino acids, and glucose. The digested substances penetrate the surface of microvilli and then they pass into the interior of the enterocytes. By enterocytes, we mean the intestinal epithelial cells. We will further examine the role of microvilli when we consider the digestion of the individual food components such as carbohydrates, proteins and fats in another video.